Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 5th, 2023. Well, I hope everyone had a safe and fun holiday. And uh, well, we're back for a short week of trading. So we had a little bit of price activity on Monday, but boy, stocks barely moved um, with a lot low very low volume uh, low data uh, not much to really react to and then of course so many people were traveling that um, not a big surprise that the volume was low on an early shutdown day so what does that mean for today well how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the wednesday edition of the morning market prep video Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. You know, looking at the diamonds here, as you can see, the Dow continues to struggle. We, we really haven't been able to get out of this area and hold above this area since about August last year. And... While I keep watching this and thinking, well, maybe this will be the time that I actually turn this line green for bullishness, well, then we reverse. So we had these couple of days that we held up here. And as you can see, uh, this morning we're feeling a mite on the bearish side, uh, pushing down. There are some new tensions between, um, uh, well, multiple countries in China. We have just this uncertainty brewing out there of um, economic weakness after some services numbers out of uh, Japan and all kinds of economic um, issues and worries with the um, likelihood that the Federal Reserve is going to continue to raise rates. So taking a look at um, the chart today, you can see we're bouncing down below that resistance breakout here. And we run that possibility if the bears were to engage that maybe we fill this gap, push down into that area, filling that gap. If that were to occur, we could find some price support in here, nice price support in the chart. And if we were to fall further than that, I would expect maybe coming down into that little level of price support. That'd be a big move and that would be painful and very disappointing for a lot of bulls. But let's keep a close eye out for that potential. Now, if the bulls find some reason for inspiration today, then I would suggest that our first test would be a retest of this resistance right in here to see if we can break through that. If they can break through there, we'll come up into this area. And if that breaks, we'll come up into this area. So watch those um, places closely in the chart. Now let's take a look at our SPY, SPY. Also, we tried to break through that resistance up there. And unfortunately, we're seeing just a little bit of bearishness here in the chart. Now this begs the question, will this be a double top? If we were to fail here, we could certainly see that possibility of a little bit of a double top. And we might not be all that surprised to be thinking about, well, we've got earnings coming up here um, in another week um, of, of wait. Uh, you know, toward the end of next week, we're going to start getting the uh, big bank reports. So it wouldn't be out of the question to see a little bit of a rest, a little bit of consolidating in here. Low volume could be a uh, part of that unless we have something unfortunate coming up um, on the economy side of things just a little bit of rest in here wouldn't be a surprise so maybe we just consolidate but if the bears were to engage here then let's look for a little um, possibility test well first let's test this little support in here that we created last week on that gap up if that doesn't hold then look for a gap fill pulling back down into the chart. And by the way, if that occurs, nothing bearish in this chart at all. As a matter of fact, we could just set up a little bit of a range of chop in here as we wait for earnings season to begin. Let's take a look at our QQQ. Now QQQ also showing us that possible double top 
coming in here you can see we ran up into this pretty significant resistance level in the chart and we're struggling with that area with a little bit of a pullback so again maybe a test right in this area first off for support drop down into here for the next level of price support if that holds great if it doesn't well maybe we come back down into here and again you can see that possibility that we may see a little bit of resting and consolidation um, here you'll want to be reminded that it's going to be a, a good two weeks out before we really start big tech earnings so keeping in mind that we could rest in this range here for some period of time then let's take a look at our uh, Russell IWM IWM continuing to be well a little toppy possibly we continue to run up here with all this exuberance trying to test those resistance levels to see whether we can break out in here again maybe that possibility of a failure could be coming in here but the good news is we have a level of price support in right in there that could support us so if we were to continue to see those bears push i would look for a test back into this area and possibly even a hold because if that were to fail then i'm going to suggest that we come right back down here in that chart as we continue to seesaw this market around here in the russell now let's take a look at our vix you know, guys, our VIX has been so weird, I guess is the best word to use, um, because there's so much high speculation trading going on in the market. And with so many folks trading zero data expiration options, we're not getting good quality readings out of VIX. But if you were to say this is um, the actual where the VIX would be, I would say we are extremely complacent in this market right now and that uh, that leaves us open for that potential of that bear attack so you want to be watching carefully if that were the case but i wouldn't get too worried about it unless we can break above some of these levels in here and start seeing fear rise up here in the market what we've seen here lately even on sale that sale days fear goes down on buying days fear goes up it is the weirdest thing going on here in the vix and um, not sure this is going to be able to maintain all that much usefulness to traders let's take a look at our t2122 now our t2122 looking at this well we are certainly overbought we are very very stretched up here into the market holding up here around 95 96 in this level so if the bulls find some inspiration today they don't have a whole lot of room to move to that upside and you can certainly see that possibility looking at T2122 that there, well, there has never been a time, okay, when we go above. We cannot make this indicator go above 100. It doesn't happen. We can linger up here for periods of time, but keeping in mind, we eventually find that reason for selling, that relief that pulls us back in that index. So watch that carefully here. The high-low ratio is suggesting selling coming in and well we're seeing a little bit of that this morning let's take a look at our t2108 now t2108 is the percentage of stocks above their 40-day moving average and i've talked about this before when we start getting above uh, in that 65 to 75 range here in t2108 then we re reach that overbought condition we start getting very very frothy in the market and then we typically see profit takers and selling coming in on that but we would still have to break this down a lot before this becomes bearish this is still a very very bullish chart we've got support levels all over the place in this chart that could hold us in this upside trend so just maybe a little rest is all we're looking at we've got over 70 percent of our stocks above the 40-day moving average if we take a look at our t21 oh seven percentage of stocks above the 200 day moving average and then of course we see the same situation now t2107 
gets a little bit on that frothy side, a little bit on the overbought side, anywhere between these 50s, mid 50s, and up here in towards 65 um, plus ratings, we're starting to be a little bit over exuberant. Now, that being said, we have this potential upside trend. We've got support levels to hold. So a pullback in here, um, although I believe it's highly likely, I don't know that it's going to break us down and actually become bearish, so watch that close. Now, if we take a look at our T2101, well, T2101 stretching to the upside. We haven't had that hook over reversal yet. We might be seeing that this morning, however, in the pre-market with some of that and those uncertainties and strikes and things like that cropping up. So keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at our economic calendar here. Our economic calendar has got a couple of things that we want to be paying attention to. Today, uh, more than anything, we've got an OPEC uh, meeting that could move the market a little bit. We've got motor vehicle sales. We've got um, factory um, orders, you know, not likely to move us a lot. And then we've got the FOMC minutes, which of course, can move the market although there's unlike it's unlikely we'll learn anything more we should be expecting two more rate increases at a minimum so keep an eye on that and then we've got williams speaking right around the market close um, after that, looking into Thursday, we have a pretty darn busy day here on Thursday. We're going to uh, more of that OPEC meeting. We might get that announcement then. We've got ADP report, uh, international trading goods, jobless claims. We've got Fed speakers out there. PMI composite, ISM services, we've got the job openings report, we've got the petroleum status number, and then later in the day we've got some uh, just bond auctions, some announcements, and of course our normal Fed balance sheet that nobody's paying attention to. And then as we look into Friday, we've got a, the big employment situation excuse me, situation number out there and the natural gas report to be paying attention to. Now, keeping in mind, some of these data points can be that wait and see data point. So with this being a shortened holiday weekend or holiday week, just kind of keep in mind, there's a lot of folks that have a lot of travel problems um, uh, going on right now, there may be a light choppy volume through the rest of this week. Don't be too surprised if that is the case. So there could be a whole lot of, well, let's just wait and see. Um, so watch carefully for low volume. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar for today. And our earnings calendar, believe it or not, it's been a long time since this has um, happened. There are absolutely no confirmed earnings for today. So nothing on that calendar to be concerned with. So let's just take a right off and let's jump right into maybe some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. If you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, and that would be click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. And um, thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that. I truly, truly appreciate it. Also, I wanna say thank you to everyone who supports the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link just below the title of the video. You guys are awesome. I do thank you so, so much. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You should never, ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas or thoughts. Make sure it fits your own personal criteria. Make sure it fits your trading rules and your risk tolerances for every single trade. So let's take a look at a couple of these. You know, um, one of the things um, I've been... Uh, talking about here recently is we're going to need these pay systems if if we're going to see a rally in the market we need to see the consumers out there spending and that means pay systems are making money and as you can see paypal here has been struggling quite a lot but at the moment we have a nice little pattern in here a little short but uh, i would say short-term buy pattern 
Um, nice little bullish trend going on. Nice little buy signal in there. Possibility up into the next resistance level of the chart looks possible. But what I'd really be wanting to watch for here overall is to see if PayPal has that opportunity to pop through that downtrend here and maybe start to hold some higher lows. If that were to occur, this would become very interesting, I think, in a chart. So let's watch that closely. Now, sticking on the pay system side of things, take a look at SQ out here block. Now, SQ also trying to come up out of this bottom still obviously still got a lot of work to do to break some of these downtrends get some um, upside momentum going but you can see we're starting to make those moves here to the upside so i'm keeping an eye on this watching that closely that possibility that we could break on higher retest some resistance looks like it would work maybe for a short-term upside move but then again um I, I want to tell you guys that the place that i am really interested in these charts is when we break up above some of that downtrend resistance and we start seeing that institutional support coming in on these pay systems and that's where i really want to go in these positions now if we take a look at visa visa has been moving up nicely and you can see some of that early move in here um, well i say early move based on what paypal and sq is doing but uh, visa really making that move breaking through a major level of price resistance in the chart if it can rest and hold up here then there's that opportunity that we could go ahead and attack these highs in uh, Visa, so watch that closely. So uh, enough on the pay systems there. Let's take a look at some other things that could be setting up. First off, I wanna draw your attention to UUP. UUT UUP is pushing up, whoops, sorry, that's a two day, pushing up a little bit here this morning. Watch that closely as that continues to push to that upside. Kind of a interesting situation going on here with um, Japan really disappointing in some numbers last night. Um, that may be strengthening the dollar. And then also some issues here um, with, well, uh, bond um, yields continuing to rise quite sharply um, uh, on Monday, uh, moving up. So we see that pressure here on the US dollar. So watch that closely in here. If if we continue to see those bond yields strengthen, uh, then we're likely to see that dollar improve. And if the dollar continues to strengthen, well, then we have to start looking at some of these commodities out there. Take a look at gold. Um, gold has been moving in this downtrend, and I think if the dollar continues to strengthen, we could certainly see that continue to weaken here and start moving lower. Um, same thing would be the same uh, case for silver. Silver running um, a little bit of a double bottom situation in here on silver, but boy, lots of resistance above. I'd be watching for that potential of some more downside in silver. When it comes to other commodities, it is kind of interesting that we have rallied here, but you can see that dollar strengthening today is also having an effect here on copper. Um, now, I have a little bit of bias in this because I am holding this trade uh, currently watching that closely if it were to hold this downtrend as i said before hold this downtrend break and and hang up uh, continue to move up in this upside trend hang in this area maybe rest for a while then i would be watching this for some upside but i'm a little bit concerned about an additional failure here right now and i'll be watching this closely today take a look at some other stocks out there that are uh, well pretty interesting um costco has been moving up in this really strong upside move and you can see we've already broken this downtrend here in the chart we've held that higher low in here we're moving in this upside trend any rest or pullback in here i think sets up a possible opportunity for that continuation to the upside of course earnings can definitely change a lot here take a look at cf CF is one that I'm paying close attention to. CF is in the agricultural area here, and it's kind of interesting. Typically, we see ag slipping a little bit with a strengthening dollar, and we may see this weekend today. But I'm watching this closely. Again, there's that downtrend break, that higher low starting to set up here in the chart. 
watch this carefully for that possibility that this might start working its way to the upside. Now, how about U.S. Steel? Now, U.S. Steel continues to look good here. I am expecting this resting pullback. I'm actually hoping for a little bit of a resting pullback here in U.S. Steel. Um, entry into this trade is that exact same pattern. You know, break the downtrends, hold higher lows, looking good. So I have a bias on this trade being in it. I have a nice profit in the position. I'm also covered with a short strike in the position up here. And I'm watching for this resting pullback in this chart to maybe set up that next opportunity to the upside so keep a close eye on US Steel again if the dollar strengthens a lot that might become a problem here for steel but if um, if we see that dollar hit some resistance levels and slow down that upside move then don't be surprised if we see some of these commodities begin to surge to the upside so with that guys hey I'm gonna um, call that um, an end to this morning because we're getting out there a little bit long in time. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Um, hope you have a great results in your trading today. And I'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. I want to wish you all the best.